After you watch the video, answer the following seven questions. Question number one. What are the four topographical brain cortex regions? Then question number two. What is the Broadman area? Question number three. What is a myelin? Question number four. Is visual reaction time faster than audio reaction time? Question number five. Is touch reaction time faster than visual reaction time? Question number six. Is reflex reaction time faster? Question number seven. What is the serial or parallel model for reaction time? This is a representation of a human cortex. There are four topographical lobes. Occipital lobe, which is the uh, visual cortex. Temporal lobe, parietal lobe, frontal lobe. The parietal lobe is where that sensory cortex. Uh, watch our previous video about the sensory cortex. So you probably heard another word called the limbic limbic lobe. It by itself is not it's, it's not a topographical region, but it consists of a partial and other lobes. It by itself it forms a system. And when you have a emotion, you will add a, say if you see a fight scene, someone is coming approach you, fight, or add emotional information into the sensory signals. Also include the hippocampus, that's where the spatial navigation, spatial memory, and long-term memory is. But that's not today's topic. Today we are only focusing on a reaction time. We have uh, only four divisions of the brain. Of course, you can have a subdivision of various regions within each lobe. That's more detailed. So this is a, a representation of a subdivision. There's another representation if you read a scientific paper that is called a Broadman area. For example, this is a diagram of broad and area, remember the visual cortex is this area. Instead of referring to a visual cortex, we call it, say, a broad main area 17. So that's another way to represent the brain physical the area. Next thing is green matter versus white matter. And watch our previous video about the neuron and axons. So the gray matter is the neuron, the body itself. The white matter is called a myelin, myelin nitrate uh, axons. So that's the white area. So why we have this uh, myelinated area? So what is a myelin? Myelin is a, a shield. The shield for those people in the chip design or electronic area, it's a, a material, it's a dielectric that increases the resistance and decreases the capacitance so the signal can travel in the nerve fabric faster. So if you have a shield of your neuron fabric, it can transmit signals faster. So this is an example of a myelinated versus non-myelinated. The first one is example if you have a pain or temperature change, it travels very slow. It's between 0.5 to 2 meters per second. It's like just walking or jogging, that's the speed. But the kind of neuron responsible for the touch, the transmission is in the myelinated fabric. It's between 70 to 120 meters per second. It's a hundred times faster. So we are trying to compare visual reaction time, audio reaction time, and touch reaction time. So let's look at the physical media at the very beginning. When you see something and because of light, light travels very fast, 299 million meters per second. The sound 
340 meters per second. So your nerve signal that at the speed of 100 meters per second. So that's only at the beginning, but the bulk of the processing is in your brain. That takes much longer time than the light speed. The light speed you can just ignore. It doesn't matter how fast it's the sound uh, travel a uh, comparison speed of this one, but still faster. As long as it's not too far away, you could ignore the sound part. So how do we see the breakdown of the, of the delay? Remember this diagram? Our eyes are here in the front. When you have an object detected, this is a occipital visual cortex. It's sent from here to here. And then from here, it will send to the frontal lobe for recognition. And for this, for some visual And it reach here for the final processing. That's for the visual. The audio directly go to the temporal lobe. So if we compare uh, the video, audio, and touch, if we have a four different experiments, we try to test the reaction time for video, audio, and touch, and reflex, and what are the ordering? Which one is slow, which one is fast? If you read any textbook, a typical reflex, for example, the knee jerk. If you tap the knee, it will jerk. Watch our previous video that there's a direct connection from your knee to the spine and then in the ventral path will go back to your knee. Very short path that doesn't go through the brain. That's called a reflex. So reflex takes only 50 milliseconds. So that's the fast. If you are practicing Tai Chi, you are approaching this level, you don't need to practice. You are the best. But for a normal person, what is the ordering? Which one is fast? Of course, you think light is faster, but that's not true. Actually, this is slower than the audio. There's a research paper done by Jose Shelton. This is a 2010 paper. He compared audio and video reaction time. Signal when it reach to the brain, there's a some already some difference. One is eight to 10 milliseconds. That's for the audio. And video is 20 to 40 milliseconds. For the whole reaction time, Heat test is 284 millisecond versus a video 331. There's another research done by Thompson is 140 millisecond for audio, 180 for video. So we know they are different in, in terms of reaction time. So the next question is, can we really improve the time we have? What are the factors contribute to the reaction time? Of course, your age. The older you are, the slower you are, I'm sorry. And man, of course, happier than the female, is faster. And if you drink coffee, of course, that will affect the test. So let's uh, watch a few clips we did experiment in our group. A different age, video, audio, and touch. Do they really have a different response time? And watch. Experiment a ver a video, audio, and touch to see which one is faster. So this is a ruler that is two inch. I'm going to drop here, he's going to grab it. If he's fast, he grab here. If he's slow, he grab here. So we are going to have a five time and have an average. And he's younger, we're going to test someone older. So supposedly video is Slowly, um, audio is the second, and touch is the, the first, okay? So you're going to see an uh, uh, index uh, finger and the thumb. <laughs> okay, it's 15 millimeter first time. Uh, I'll say, are you ready? Uh -huh. so, but this is one then, so that's why. Are you ready? 14. <laughs> Are you ready? 
So that means the touch is the, the most fast. So in the previous uh, clip, after our test, we conclude most likely if you are younger, you would uh, react faster. But if you practice Tai Chi, your touch reaction would be shorter. Why practice can improve? So here's a paper by Verlager. He proposed two models. One is serial case, one is a parallel. If you are not trained, your reaction time from here to here is breaking down is stimulus evaluation, response selection, and response execution. That's this long. If you have a parallel, you can actually shift your response selection earlier. So you start stimulus evaluation, you haven't finished, but your body actually can start response selection, start that process. Therefore, your response time can shift a little bit earlier. When we practice Tai Chi, 
That's what is happening. We are shifting this process earlier because we have a forms. We are keeping our body ready to the attack. Therefore, it doesn't really matter what is the final selection as long as we we position our body so that we can make a final selection at this time. So from here here we prepare ourselves and once the evaluation is done we start from this point. So that's how you gain the time. So we said that a myelin can help you improve your transmission speed. And how do you make sure you have a good uh, myelin? There are some food, lists of food that will help you to have a better reaction time on the fabric. Now not in the processing part, but this would help. So vitamin B12, B1, B5. Copper type, you know, the kind of uh, liver, lentil, clam, almond. And there's a fat. You really need a fat for the nerves. Olive oil, nuts, avocado.